Dark Leader escapes with the stolen tech, Aroa will be ground zero for the next world war. Oh, I won't let the Bow Dark Leader leave the island. The Aroan people deserve peace. I doubt the outcasts will be able to reach Gon quickly. They have the rest of Aroa to account for. And if that wasn't complicated enough, a drone swarm is blocking their entry into the island. I'll handle this my way. Nomad, this is Bowman. Been a long time. You probably weren't expecting to go back to Aroa so soon. Let me set the scene. The U.S. Army never landed. Ships have been deployed to blockade the archipelago's perimeter. Every major nation is represented, with fingers on the trigger for whoever dares to claim control over Aroa's technological resources. Sounds like a grand old tropical paradise, doesn't it? The CIA's been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Our solution? We send the ghosts to deal with the inevitable sentinel resistance that'll arise while leaving no trace of our involvement. You, old friend, will help the outcasts win their independence. Feel fancy yet? We do this right, and maybe we won't have another motherfucking shit show like Bolivia. Clearing up all that shaved a decade off my already charmed existence. I don't care for a repeat. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the outcast camp. Good luck. Win Aroa her future. And try not to get killed. That didn't sound right. It's weird. I wouldn't check that out. I see horses! Missile compromised. No one will be able to launch it.
Markinov is dead. I should search his body. An audio recording. Bowman will want to hear this. <laughs> Bowman, this is Nomad. Markinov is dead. The missile's been neutralized. Sounds like he couldn't be taken alive. Fortunately, your mission was successful. You helped the U.S. dodge a war with Russia. I found an audio recording on Arkinov's body. Let's hear it. Arkinov, you must increase tensions between Russia and America. Position Russia as an irresistible target for aggression. Once both Titans are busy fighting for dominance, they'll be too distracted to notice what we do with Aurora. Doesn't look like the Russians are behind this one. I wouldn't count them out just yet. There could be an internal power struggle between different factions of the Russian government. One thing we can say for sure is that for now, the crisis has been averted. You know there's a new uh, machine gunner around here. He just got in yesterday. Don't know if anyone told you, but he needs to be added to the roster. He's around here somewhere. Data transfer just in time. The encryption looked as if you are. I hear something. Probably all clear, but I'll search the area. So far, everything checks out.
There's Cherikov. Military uniform looks like a costume on him. Bowman, this is Nomad. Cherikov's been neutralized. The data isn't going anywhere. And we've managed to avoid an intelligence war. I found an audio recording from the Bodarch commander on Cherikov's body. Let's see what the bastard has to say. Cherkov, we need you to identify sensitive data and send it to Russian intelligence. The world has to witness the transmission and believe that Russia is responsible for stealing the data. This action should cause chaos in the intelligence community. Either this is a clever SVR trick, or Russia isn't behind this. The mastermind's voice is encrypted, so it can't be easily identified. The recording can't be used to ease tension. Copy. Out. Kill the broadcast. Nothing's been aired. <laughs> I'll have revenge! I'm gonna wipe you out!
Where's Kropotkin? Master really seemed pleased with himself. Bowman is nomad. The broadcast hadn't started yet, and now it never will. I neutralized Kropotkin. Well, it's a good thing you stopped his plan. It's a bit sad we can't interrogate him. Lucky bastard. I know. On the bright side, I found an audio recording on his body. Play it. Kropotkin. We need you to broadcast your activities once we complete our mission. Our pressure should force the U.S. and their friends to launch a disorganized attack on Sentinel and the Wolves, giving the Bodarks enough time to disappear. And the conflict will lead to destruction of our own resources, along with proof of our involvement. The last thing we need is pressure on the U.S. and its allies to intervene on Aroa, or to radicalize Russia further. This seems typical for SVR. Stealing secrets and leaving chaos in their wake. The wolves are just cannon fodder for them. This could be a sign of an SVR false flag operation, or a hint to something more nefarious, involving an organization that won't hesitate to incriminate Sentinel and the wolves in service of a larger plan. The destruction of Aroa will prevent anyone else from using Skeltech. Copy. No matter. recordings trace back there. If the Bodark leader escapes with the stolen tech, Aroa will be ground zero for the next world war. Oh, I won't let the Bodark leader leave the island. The Aroan people deserve peace. I doubt the outcasts will be able to reach Golem quickly. They have the rest of Aroa to account for. And if that wasn't complicated enough, a drone swarm is blocking their entry into the island. I'll handle this my way. I'll send you all the intel on Golem Island, the bivouac RV point, and topography. It's the final hour, Nomad. We're all counting on you. I found some American swine. Listen closely. Russia is aware of your illegal involvement in the war. And we are not afraid to expose you. We have spies everywhere. Do not interfere. I know you aren't from the Russian government. They aren't so sloppy. You should learn to cover your tracks. So why are you trying so hard to frame them for your actions? This is Nomad. Do you hear me? You're a ray of sunshine today. The Bodark boss got through to me. Sounds like a real piece of work. Still try to pass for a Russian envoy. But I put an end to that real quick. So, you've met Katya Maximova. I uncovered her identity shortly before your little chat. She's a Russian oligarch. High society. Used to be real close to top brass before she fell from grace. Now, she's a nobody. Trying to reclaim what she lost by buying Bodark loyalty. She's their pay-to-play leader. Despite her efforts, we've managed to exonerate Russia from involvement. There won't be a war as long as Maximova is contained and neutralized. A world war won't break out on my watch. These bastards have to pay. No matter. Out.
Send traffic. Nomad, we need you to eliminate Maximova. Negotiating with her poses too much of a risk, and it would reveal our presence on Aroa. The outcasts won't like it. They'll want Maximova alive for a public trial, but we can't allow that. Copy. Nomad out. I hear you, Edo. Send traffic. I guess your orders are to kill Maximova, but... I beg you not to go through with it. Capture her alive and deliver her to the outcasts. We need to expose her to maintain credibility. And we deserve a trial to hold the Bodarks accountable for their crimes in an international forum. The outcasts can't take the fall for them. Look, you've already done so much for us, and I hate to put you in this difficult position, but things aren't black and white. Real human lives will be endangered by making the professional choice. Let the Oroan people have their justice. I'll do what I can, Ido. No matter. This is Maximova's hideout. Found you, Maximova. Finally. It's over, Maximova. You're gonna have to answer to the world for your crimes. I answer to no one. If you don't have a price, the CIA will. I'll walk free one way or another. That's up to them. The outcasts are expecting you. Your trial awaits. Trial? You're insane. They will hang me if you turn me over to them. Negotiating with the CIA is a better option. I'd gladly take life in prison over whatever your outcasts have planned. Your fate's not up to me. Is this what she thought it would be like? Erewhon was starting to smell like a locker room. I'm just happy to get out and do something. Towards the action. Bowman, Edo, it's Nomad. Main objectives accomplished. Maximova's been captured. What? Your orders were to eliminate her. The outcasts deserve to have their trial. At least now a role can start to heal. We are forever in your debt, Nomad. We'll be able to prove once and for all that we fought you for things peace. Would out for you? The outcasts validated in the eyes of the world. I know we've had our differences in the past, but you've proven yourself a true friend, an ally, a savior. A better world. Thank you for your service. Roa has overcome too much pain and loss. I'll always come to her aid. No matter the personal cost, it's all been worth it if the Rowan people get a real shot at freedom. We are on the right path. Looks like fortune's on our side. Ito out. Well, Ito's happy, but you've put me in a really bad spot, Nomad. You disobeyed direct orders. Now I'll have to broker a deal with Maximova to guarantee her silence on the CIA's involvement on the island. Fuck, I might even have to guarantee her exoneration from any sentence the outcasts choose to give her. Yep. I'm prepared to let this one slide in the name of friendship. But if shit hits the fan on a row because of your actions, I won't be able to protect you. I know. 
I can live with it. I trust the outcast to do what's right. There won't be any problems. I hope so, for your sake. Nonetheless, Aroa is free and that should count for something. Thanks for your cooperation. Happy to serve. I'm just glad to see this chapter finally close. Until next time, Nomad. Perhaps. Nomad? Who is this? Nomad? Can you hear me? What the? Ruby, is that you? How'd you get this frequency? It was a bit of a puzzle. Your encryption is top class. Don't worry. I doubt anyone else could crack it but me. Did you call just to brag? Wanted to give you a heads up. You can send me the network key by phone. It's a lot simpler. Uh, right. How do I send the thing over the phone? Not a physical key, numbskull. It's a code. Insufferable kid.